Okay, so let's continue. So, ganun pa rin, no? Uh, kunin pa rin natin yung gawa na ako ng another na ano, partition. So, we have the x-axis. And then, we have the this x axis here and we have this y axis here so x and then we have y so ganun pa rin we have point 1 x sub 1 y sub 1 and then let's say so yung p na lang yung consider ko ngayon x and y so ibig sabihin yung distance na to yeah, patungo dito that is x sub 1 and then yung ito yung origin ha? and then we have this x lang no? so yung difference ng distance nila is just x minus x sub 1 or kung dito yan this is x minus x sub 1 and considering y so we have y sub 1 and then yung dito naman this is y no? so yung difference ng distance nila is we have y minus y sub 1 so this is y minus y sub 1 ok so I think klaro yan no? so ibig sabihin Kung kukunin nyo yung angle theta nito, diba? So, tangent theta, uh, it's just opposite, which is y minus y sub 1, all over x minus x sub 1. And, we all know in analytic geometry, we, we assume that the cons, that tangent theta equals just, uh, equals m, no? Yung m dyan, yan yung slope of the line. Okay, where M is slope of line. So, mangyayari ngayon is meron tayong y minus y sub 1 is just equal to M times x minus x sub 1. And this is now what we call as the point slope form. Okay, this is the point slope form okay so ito pa rin yung yung setup natin Okay, so ito pa rin yung setup. So, this time is uh, project pa natin ito. No? Project pa natin. Okay, ito na lang. Baguhin ko na lang. Uh, di nakakalito. So, bali this time yung consider ko yung, yung ito na lang. Ayan, ayan. and then I have this point here in dito shoot ko na lang ng PN no? that is X and Y so ibig sabihin yung distance na to titig mo mo yan dito so yung distance na to this defines R X and then yung distance dito this defines R Y and let's say yung intercept nito is yung ito. Say yan yung B. So let's say yan yung B. Yung point nito. So nag-intercept sa dyan. So bali yung ordinate nyan is 0 and then B. Diba? 
So, ibig sabihin, if we consider this triangle here, yung triangle na ta. So, yung distance na ta, this becomes our y minus b. Yeah? And then, yung distance dito, this becomes our x. Okay? And then, yan pa rin, theta. So, we have m, which is equivalent to tangent theta. It's just y minus b all over x. Or y minus b equals mx. So, we have mx plus b. Okay? So, yung form na to, this is what we call as the slope intercept. So, at least klaro yan. No? At least klaro yan. And then, if we project pa rin yung... Uh, let's consider another another setup. So, ganun pa rin. Meron tayong x and y axis. And then, let's consider yung line na nag-intercept uh, both axis. So, meron tayong point 0.1 and... Dito. So, meron tayo ditong point Tsaka meron tayo ditong point no? So, I assume na yung distance dito From the origin Is A And then dito, let's say B Then, let's consider meron tayong point dito ah, Kahit saan lang, ha? I assume dyan X and Y So, bali yung distance na to is x and then yung dito naman let's say y okay so yan so therefore meron tayong uh, ano ba uh, yung angle na to let's say itong angle na to na yung tangent theta Diba? Considering yung whole triangle Yung ito Yung triangle na to And then picture out yun na yun Diba? That is mm -hmm, uh, B Opposite over, over D Adjacent And then considering yung triangle na to Yung dito na part Diba? Yung dito That is y over x. So, therefore, uh, kunin ko muna yung distance dito. Para madali na lang tayo. This is a minus x. Na? So, this is y over a minus x. Okay, so if we simplify that one, so we have a y and then we have b times a minus x so therefore we have a y and then we have a b and then b x no? so therefore we have a y plus b x and then we have a b so if we divide uh, uh, ba? if we divide this everything by a b so meron tayong y over b and then dito naman is meron tayong x over a and then we have 1 so if we arrange yung mga variables na yan so makukuha natin yung intercept one okay so yan na madali man din yung derivation and then pakita ko mamaya yung kabuoan no And then we have this, uh, this setup pa rin, no? So, same sya nung una, yung dito. Ah, magbago na, gawa na lang ako ng panibago. So, ito, ito pa rin yung ano natin, x and y axis. Okay, so considering this time yung point na lang, no? So, meron tayong... Tatlong point yun, ngayon yung i-consider ko. So, I have this point 1, which is x sub 1 and y sub 1. 
and then I have oh no wait we have this point 1 which is x sub 1 and y sub 1 and then we have point 2 x and y and then dito we have point 2 x sub 2 and y sub 2 okay ba? so I think alam na natin to eh kasi sa unang video pa lang pinakita ko na yung mga formula dito okay so bali dito is meron tayong x sub 2 and x sub 1 dito is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and then considering yung line na to we have x minus x sub 1 ah uh, wait it's y y minus y sub 1 and then dito is meron tayong x minus x sub 1 so ganun pa rin tita pa rin yung kukunin natin which is tangent theta so considering yung whole triangle meron tayong y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and then considering yung triangle na to una is ito yung triangle then pangalawa is ito na yung triangle na i-consider natin so therefore uh, meron tayong y minus y sub 1 and x minus x sub 1 so ito yung tinatawag natin so, ito two point form okay so yan yung 2.4 so next is uh, yung dita pagkita ko yung summary yung mamaya So, considering meron tayong line dito. So, this time, direct natin yung normal form. So, makikita mo dito na yung normal form is pa ganyan. Yeah. So, direct natin yan. So, considering ito yung point, uh, polar form yung gagamitin natin yan. Ha? So, ito yung point P, which is uh, R and then theta. Okay. So, if we project yung another line dito. So, yan. No? So, yan yung P uh, na R theta. Okay? So, so, bali, pag P mo yan is R theta, so, ito yung R mo. Diba? And then, ito yung theta. Okay ba? I hope klaro yan. And uh, also, yung P na to can also be yung parang rectangular coordinate. Tawag niya. Diba ito polar? No? So this one is polar form. And this one is rectangular form. Yan, no? So, kung gusto natin makuha yung distance na lang. Di ba? So, yung x is just r cosine theta. And then, yung y, di ba? Which is, ito man din yan. That is r sine theta. So, if gusto natin makuha, gawa tayo ng perpendicular line. Yan dito, sa gilid. So, bali perpendicular line yan. So, yung distance na yan, I assume that is P. Okay? Yan yung perpendicular line. Na? So, P lang para mas madaling tandaan. Perpendicular line. So, if I assume na yung angle dyan, na? from dito sa x-axis, patungo dito sa perpendicular line is beta. So, ibig sabihin yung difference ng angle nila, yan dito 
is just beta minus theta. Okay ba? And take note, uh, we are now considering yung right triangle na to. Diba? Ito right triangle, so ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-consider yung triangle na to ngayon. Ayan, so ayaw, klaro yan. So, ibig sabihin, kung triangle natin yan, so ito yung magiging hypotenuse natin, yung R. Na? And then, ito yung parang adjacent, ito yung opposite side. So, may kita mo na yung P dyan is just equal to R, di ba? Cosine beta minus theta. Okay? So, yan na yan. yan. Yan na yan. Pero expand natin to para makuha natin yung equation na yan. Expand natin yan mamaya. So, we have P equals R cosine theta. So, let's say. So, we have P equals R cosine uh, beta minus theta. And P equals R. I love not. Alam natin yung cosine beta na yan no? sa trigonometric identities that is just cos cos sin sin no? parang naglalaba ka lang so beta theta pag minus that's plus beta theta okay so therefore we have e, uh, r cosine beta cosine theta plus r sine beta sine theta and take note na yung x is r cosine theta so ibig sabihin uh, arrange ko lang this r cosine theta cosine beta plus r sine theta sine beta and take note na yung ito is x and ito is ry no? may kita mo naman dito no? klarong klaro so therefore yung p is just equal to x cosine beta and y sine beta so ito na yung tinatawag nating polar normal form So, I hope klaro yan. No? So, continue na lang tayo. So, yung overall, summary ng mga formulas is ito na yan. No? So, i-memorize na lang to. Madali mo ding i-memorize lahat yan. Then, we have also the area form. No? Hindi ko na-derive yan. Uh, this is based on parang uh, determinant na method. So, basta alam mo lang na since line lang yan, uh, expected, yung area mo is 0. Okay? So, yan. So, pag solve mo ng area, mamaya uh, may kita mo na magagamit mo din yung uh, matrix na yan. Okay? So, yun lang guys. Continue na tayo sa next na video. Thank you.